Hello everyone, welcome to today's presentation. In this video, we are going to discuss the topic loci and we are going to look at two types of loci, angle bisector and perpendicular bisector loci. So we are going to use this question to explain this. The diagram below represents a field ABC. So we have the diagram as shown, it's a triangle, and then part A, draw the locus of points equidistant from sides AB and AC. Part B, draw the locus of points equidistant from points A and C. And then part C, a coin is lost within a region which is closer to A than to point C and nearer to AC than to side AB. Shade the region where the coin can be located. So before we answer these questions, the task here is to tell whether a question is about perpendicular bisector locus or angle bisector locus. So that is what I want us to pay attention to and then we'll be good to go. So let's look at part A. Draw the locus of points equidistant from sides AB and AC. Of course, when you're given AB and AC, these are lines which intersect at the common point A. So if they intersect at the common point A, then they form an angle at that point A. As you can see in the diagram, we have AB and AC intersecting at A and therefore forming an angle at that point. So the locus of points equidistant from AB and AC should be the angle bisector and we are going to bisect the angle at A. So this line here is the locus of points equidistant from A, B, and A, C. Okay, so that is for part A. For part B, we are to draw the locus of points equidistant from points A and C. So here we have two points A and C. A and C form a line segment, as we can see in the diagram. We have A and C, and therefore they form line AC. Therefore, if you want to determine the locus of points equidistant from A and C, we will bisect line AC. And therefore, when we bisect, we have this. So the perpendicular bisector of AC is the locus of points equidistant from A and C. So as we saw earlier on, question A represents angle bisector locus and question B represents the perpendicular bisector locus. Now let's move to part C. A coin is lost within a region which is closer to A than to C. Now let's look at that first. A region closer to A than to C. So at this point we have A and C forming a line segment. And therefore if we consider region closer to A than to C, that will be this. So we have the perpendicular bisector locus that is for line segment AC and therefore the region closer to A is the side towards A that is of this perpendicular bisector locus and therefore we'll be considering shading the side closer to A than to C this other side and before we shade let us also look at the other condition for the other locus and you're told 
and nearer to AC than to side AB. So when we talk about AC and AB, then we have the angle bisector locus. So the side nearer to AC for this locus here is this side. It's closer to AC than AB on the other side. So we're going to shade the side closer to AC. Remember, for this, we'll consider shading this side, but we cannot shade here because for this locus, we are supposed to be shading the side closer to A than to C. So we are not going to shade this side and therefore we are going to avoid this region here. So the shading ends at this point. Therefore we'll have this. Remember it's inside the triangle. That's where we want to locate the coin. So that is the region where the coin can be located. And so that is how we go about this question. I want to thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.